Imagine if you lived in a perfect suburb. What would that be like and what even is a perfect suburb? Well, Wexford, Pennsylvania was ranked by CNBC as one of the most perfect suburbs in the entire nation. So in this video, we'll be giving you a complete breakdown on living in Wexford. We'll be breaking down all of the different areas, the school districts, the amenities, and we'll be showing you the most desirable communities to live in Wexford towards the end. And we're getting started right now. So Wexford is actually known as an unincorporated community. It's broken down into four different municipalities, so it doesn't really have like a government of its own, but it does make the area pretty large. So it's made up of Marshall Township, Pine Township, McCandless, and Franklin Park. And these are all north of Pittsburgh. It's only about like 25 to 30 minutes from downtown Pittsburgh and about the same distance to the airport. And you do have major highways running all throughout Wexford, which is like Route 19, I-79, I-279 and I-76. And it does have one of the best commutes into the city of Pittsburgh compared to any other suburb. So if you're new to the channel or haven't seen any other videos, I've said this previously, but the North Hills does not have a tunnel whenever you're commuting into the city, only the South Hills, the West and the East do. So if you're looking for like the smoothest commute, if you're commuting to work every day and that's downtown Pittsburgh, then the North Hills might be a good option to consider. There is a hub lane, which is for like carpooling and then no tunnel going in. So first let's discuss why even is Wexford classified as like a perfect suburb because that is a very strong term. So to start, it has a higher safety rating in the top of all 35% US communities, a 7% unemployment rate and an average house value of around $345,000. Not to mention a very high value on education and access to some of the top schools. So it has better public schools than 96% of all U.S. communities and 99% better than all in the state. So a lot of times like people from other parts of Pennsylvania or even just surrounding states are moving to this area specifically for the school district. The big one you probably heard of is North Allegheny School District, which is quite large. It's literally like a college campus. It has on average around 8,500 students. And the other school district in this area is Pine Richland, which has around 4,500 students. So if you do want like the great schools, but maybe not the overwhelming environment of North Allegheny, then people typically go to Pine Richland for more of that one-on-one -on -one connection. But if you do want like one of the top districts in the state, you want the good sports, the good programs, the clubs, and just that fast paced achievement zone, the North Allegheny would definitely be for your kids. And this is one of the biggest drivers to this area is the school districts. So the demand in this area has always been pretty high. They're building new construction left and right. They literally can't build fast enough for the demand that is for this area specifically. So you definitely do see like supply and demand issues definitely more demand than there is supply and housing, which does cause the house prices in this area to be pretty high and the competition to be pretty high as well. So if you are looking to purchase in this area, it's important to get with an agent that has a track record of beating out other offers and different strategies like clauses you could put in offers to actually get yours accepted and actually know how to like craft an offer properly, especially when competing against many people. So the market definitely cooled down from like the heat of the market over the past one to two years, but sometimes like we're still seeing multiple offers on properties, just not as much. So competition is a little bit down, giving more opportunity for buyers out there and buyers in the Wexford area. And what also is a huge advantage to this area and I would say contributes to the perfect suburb outlook is North Park. This park's over 3,000 acres and has everything you can imagine from like cafes, ice cream being served, fishing, kayaking, a huge man-made lake, golfing, basketball, tennis, zip lining, mountain biking, like you name it, it's in North Park. And many people have said like North Park is their favorite in the entire Pittsburgh area. So having that amenity like super close by, literally in your neighborhood is a very big advantage. And there's beautiful homes like surrounding North Park, different sections 
like where you could literally walk to the park where a lot of clients absolutely love that. If you're into golfing, this area is literally like an oasis for golfers. There's over 67 nearby golf courses. So if you are someone that kind of enjoys that outdoor lifestyle, then this would be an excellent option for you. Especially if you have kids, you're going to the parks a lot. Or if you're a golfer yourself, then you might love this area. Like some of these golf courses are super highly rated and some of the best in the state. If you don't know who I am, I'm Riley Madden, your Pittsburgh real estate specialist. We at the Living in Pittsburgh team have been relocating people to Pittsburgh literally every single day for a number of years now, and we absolutely love it. If you are considering a move to Pittsburgh, our team is in high demand. Our phones are ringing off the hook, so I would call sooner than later so that we could make sure your spot's reserved and everything's in line. So feel free to call text, email, DM us, however you'd like to get a hold of us. We've got your back when making a move to Pittsburgh. And this area is also perfect for those that really enjoy that luxury lifestyle due to the very wide range of different housing, including new construction, but also just estates that have been there for many, many years. From like your elegant contemporaries, your grand estates, spacious colonials, there's a wide range of upscale inventory to choose from. So we'll talk a little bit about the amenities in this area, and then we'll go into actually breaking down each municipality, how they differ, and which one might be the best for you. So not only are there many golf courses, many parks, many nice properties, but there's also endless amenities and some of the best amenities in all of our suburbs. Now we'll start with groceries. You do have Trader Joe's and Whole Foods, which there's only three total areas in Pittsburgh that has these. That's going to be downtown in like the East Liberty area. Also, there's going to be one in the South Hills, and this is the one in the North Hills. So there's kind of slim pickings when it comes to like high-end grocery suppliers. And I'm someone that loves Whole Foods. I love Trader Joe's. I literally go there all the time. And if you want the quick access to it, then Wexford is perfect for that. And then you also have your typical like Giant Eagle and you have your Aldi. So like tons of different grocery options which is an advantage and not something to take for granted, especially when there's not many communities in Pittsburgh that has these. So in the entire Wexford area, there is like over 10 different shopping centers, I swear. But each of these shopping centers, for example, like McCandless Crossing, the Pine Town Shops, all of these are loaded with your day-to-day -day needs along with like things like the movie theaters, kind of a fun interactive environment. And what's super cool is a lot of these have like townhomes and single family homes right in the shopping center itself, like right outside of it. So if you are someone that kind of wants the walkability, not to be in a city neighborhood, kind of like the suburban walkability, then these are perfect options because you could literally just step out of your house and have huge shopping centers right next to you, whether you wanna grab groceries, grab a coffee, grab lunch, it's all there. And it's not just your typical suburb with a few things, a few sit-down dining places. There are a lot of sit-down dining options and it goes as far as like steakhouses and some of the best seafood restaurants in the nation, including Off the Hook and I actually just ate there, absolutely phenomenal. I mean, everything on their menu is amazing, super fresh tasting, super great service, and that goes the same for the steakhouse that they have, which is also called like Napa Prime Steakhouse and Chop House, I believe, and a cigar bar there as well. Typically, you see big steakhouses that good in the city of Pittsburgh, not so much in our suburbs. So it's really nice to have that in your neighborhood. And then there's many great places in this area to go ahead and grab a coffee, get some work done. You'll always see business people in there getting work done. And it's not your typical coffee shop either. They usually serve like a wider range of lunches, breakfasts, really good food options, different homemade pastries. And I'm gluten-free. I always find gluten-free things everywhere I go in Wexford. So I really love that about the area. There is different cute little boutiques in the area. And then like your main mall is going to be Ross Park Mall, which is like the highest end mall in all of Pittsburgh. That's where you're going to find your Louis Vuitton, your Gucci, and 
all of the higher end retail stores. And then you'll also find like good food in there, like Cheesecake Factory and just different well-known staples. But Ross Park is an impressive mall. So what's also nice is the gym and athletic options. You have Oxford Athletic Club, which is super good for like overall wellness. They even do childcare. They have like a market cafe, saunas, and different lounge spaces. And if you did want to check it out, they do offer like a three-day pass. And then you also have Burn Boot Camp, which is pretty awesome. It's like all throughout Pittsburgh, but the location in Wexford is very nice. And we did touch on North Park, but I forgot to say it does have a 65 acre lake. Like that's crazy. And there also is an ice rink and a swimming pool. So again, a very impressive park. Another park in the area is Blueberry Hill, which has like a ton of walking trails, playgrounds, and picnic areas. And it's a pretty popular park in this area. And what's also cool about Wexford, I just keep going on, but there's a bunch of different farms. So you have Cerigal Orchards. I think I'm saying this right. I'm there all the time, but it is perfect for picking fruit, different festivals. They have a winery. They have a whole gluten-free store there. They do children's story time, visits from Santa, tons of events during the holidays, field trips for students, and of course your fall festivals. And before we go into breaking down each different section, we're going to talk about the healthcare in this area because it's actually fantastic for a suburb. And we do see a lot of medical professionals living up this way due to all of the nearby health facilities. The big name you'll see in this area is Allegheny Health Network. So they have a health pavilion and they also just opened an AHN hospital. The health pavilion offers a wide range of medical services, making it very convenient so residents don't have to go all the way down to Pittsburgh. They could basically be taken care of in their own neighborhood. And the hospital that was recently built is absolutely a great asset to this area. You have the latest medical technologies, various services, all the way from emergency care to surgical procedures, and a staff of highly trained medical professionals that always take care of you and are very kind, pleasant, and patient. Its focus is on holistic care, ensuring that patients are not only getting like that medical treatment, but also the overall wellness. So let's go ahead and break down all of the different municipalities and then we'll actually be breaking down like the housing in each of these areas and which one might suit you the best. And then towards the end, we'll give you the specific communities that are very well known in Wexford and provide great opportunities for living. Start by breaking down Pine Township, which is hot for new construction right now just due to the super high demand but the low supply of housing which is a common theme everywhere but especially when the demand is super high due to school districts and families looking to live in this area so the school district is going to be pine richland school district remember that's the one with around 4500 students so pine township is literally one of the last areas to be developed here um, everything else has kind of been planned thought about but Pine Township's now the one that's on the rise. You see tons of new developments hitting the area because there was a lot of undeveloped land. This is home to the Treesdale's Golf Community and tons of already established subdivisions but the new addition of the new construction is definitely going to raise the prices and just the overall value. This is the area to go if you do want the bigger overall lots. I would say for existing properties, you're looking at starting around 500,000 and up. If you want new construction, you're definitely going to be like right around that million dollar range. Listing price here is around $720,000, which is literally almost double its neighboring community, Richland. You'll see a lot of your traditional style custom homes, colonial revival style, along with your classic contemporary custom homes. And some of the most popular ones, which is kind of that 19th century farmhouse style, along with the 21st century estate homes, which are on super large lots. Treesdale is the major subdivision here, which not only has golf courses, but also different sections of living close to these golf courses, almost like Florida. So you have different townhomes in one section, single family in another, all different prices, but 
gives you that convenience if you are a golfer like this is your paradise and then there are a lot of luxury townhomes here which are a lot bigger than you would think and they usually are in kind of the mid 400s up to like the five hundred thousand dollar range so it's a very expanding area currently lots of acreage lots of opportunity for new construction and the value being raised due to all of these people coming in, new properties being built and the established communities raising in value. In the next municipality that encompasses the Wexford area we'll be discussing is Marshall Township. Now, I would say the entry price to living in Marshall Township usually is around like the mid 500,000s and that's gonna be for your single family homes. This area feels like very park-like. You're definitely not going to have homes like sitting next to each other. It's going to be very sprawled out, like very long driveways up into like large acreage and of course like very manicured lawns beautiful landscaping and the area just definitely feels a little bit more private than a lot of other places i would say like even in mccandless it's a lot less private than marshall township the areas near the interstates and like the industrial park have sidewalks but the majority of the communities do not but i would say they're still pretty walkable just walking kind of on the road compared to having the designated sidewalks Either way, you could still walk around your neighborhood. Architecture-wise, you're going to see kind of the colonial revival, just like Pine Township, but you're also going to see kind of your Tudor style and Cape Cod properties. And these range, like I said, the mid 500s all the way past the millions. And the townhomes here usually start around the mid 300s up to the mid 500s. There's also plenty of new construction options, very complex architecture, and usually around one to $2 million. This area features Thornhill industrial park which actually does employ a large part of North Allegheny and you're going to see kind of the typical single-family properties like I said starting around five hundred thousand dollars there so Marshall Township's definitely an excellent section of this area and we'll go into the next one now which is going to be Franklin Park so Franklin Park is a little borough it's only 13 miles away from downtown Pittsburgh and definitely like more of windy streets very forested. It's located literally right next to the highway, so it's very close to get to the airport or downtown. So Franklin Park's more of that rural setting. You do have homes that are pretty sprawled apart, not too close to your neighbor, and you typically get in starting around like more of that mid to lower $300,000 range, which is pretty impressive for the overall Wexford area. You definitely do have generous yard space. Homes aren't too close to the road, so they're pretty tucked apart. Like I said, you have space between you and your neighbor and a very like forested setting. So that's very nice. It's nice to have kind of the forested to block the sun but also give that private aspect you do have sidewalks in the majority of franklin park so a little more walkable in the community itself very nicely manicured lawns and definitely wider roadways throughout the whole entire town you'll have some ranch homes here your colonial revival and some tudor style as well and they do have some townhomes and condo opportunities to purchase starting at around the high 200s all the way up into the mid 600s and then you do have like the large grand estates that usually start around 700,000 and range all the way past like two million dollars so this area definitely has the widest range of real estate options the I would say maybe some of the most affordable options in all of Wexford McCandless will as well which we're about to discuss but definitely good opportunity to get in good prices, great grand estates as well, and you do have North Allegheny School District here. So very park-like setting, not too close to your neighbor, and overall a very friendly environment. So next we'll be discussing McCandless, which is actually like I would say the most well-known section of Wexford. When I'm speaking with my clients, a lot of them have already heard of McCandless. This is actually where North Allegheny Park is, and you have tons of different shopping centers. For example, McCandless Crossing, which features a wide array of different shops, coffee shops, it's very walkable and very nice sit down places. This is where your Trader Joe's is. So super convenient. Now the housing in this area is going to be your typical like single family homes, 
along with options for townhomes. You have tons of different cul-de-sac communities, very well manicured lots, and it is shaded by very nice old growth trees. Now you are pretty close to your neighbor in some sections, some sections you're not. I would say the majority of McCandless, you are pretty close to your neighbors. It's kind of like that standard suburb. You do have some French inspired homes here, which is super cool and unique to the overall area. You also have your colonial revival style, just like the other municipalities we spoke of. And then you do have split level entry homes and your Tudor style. Home prices for your split level typically start in the higher 300,000s in your French style, you're looking in the mid 400,000s. So this section of Wexford does boast of pretty affordable properties and a lot less like extravagant compared to the other municipalities. It's more of your standard homes that you see typically in any other suburb. This area is served by North Allegheny School District and it's a very family-friendly community. They have like McCandless Community Day. They have like different inflatables, different fun events and games to play, music performances, and even fireworks. You definitely do have fast access to the PA Turnpike, which is a huge advantage, and actually a very nice commute to downtown Pittsburgh, which is through McKnight Road, which also features like a wide array of different shops. You're going through Ross Township. You have Ross Park Mall there. You have like 10 Starbucks on that road alone. So it's just very convenient for your commute to work. Um, not too far away, but yeah, overall, I would say McCandless, mainly known for family-friendly school district, more affordable prices to get into Wexford, and very nice properties, very nice lots, very neighborly community. And something else to touch on, we already kind of went over the price ranges, but say on a $400,000 home, you could see property taxes on average around ten dollars to $12,000 a year so the good school district does come with higher property taxes you just have to figure out if that's something that's worth it to you because a lot of people it is but just something to keep in mind because it could raise that monthly payment pretty significantly but definitely could be worth it for the advantage of the school district the clubs and just the overall community. Now, as promised, we're going to discuss some of the best neighborhoods in Wexford so you could kind of look more into it. And of course, we could help you figure out which one's going to best fit you, help get you into one of these properties, and help you with getting the offer actually accepted. So a few communities we'll start with. Number one is the Ridge at Manor. Now these are very custom built properties. They started building them around 2011 and kind of stopped around 2019. I would say the majority of the properties in this division are built between those time frames. So the builders here are Barrington Homes and Spagnola. Magnificent job. Like these are very picturesque properties sitting well on some acreage absolutely beautiful job done by the builder and what's nice is like you're in this community it feels very quaint very quiet and very private but you're only five minutes away from all of the main shopping and North Park. Another great community here is North Park Manor. So these homes started building around 1994, kind of stopped around 2013, and they are very expensive, very expansive homes. I would say starting points around 800,000, and it does give you great access to Pine Community Park, and you're not too far away from North Park. Another one that's kind of newer is going to be the Villas of English Farms. So you have have that modern farmhouse aesthetic which a lot of my clients like are seeking out actively right now and I absolutely love it like I'm on top of all the new farmhouse listings I think they're just very charming it's a nice kind of setting for Pennsylvania to have like the modern farmhouse especially being surrounded by all the nature it's absolutely beautiful and this community is absolutely breathtaking you're very close to all the shopping in Pine Township and the builder on this one is going to be Heartland Home Another one is Georgetown Court. Now that's known for its upscale townhomes. Tanglewood is another one and that is built by Ryan Homes kind of in the early 2000s. It's a very short walk to the village at Pine which has all of the Pine Township shopping again. So super convenient. A lot of these communities if you do not want to get in the car every day you kind of want like the aspect of walkability then some of these might be perfect for you. Pinewood Manor is actually a newer development by Eddie Homes. I've spoken of Eddie Homes in a few videos, but 
very high quality builder does a great job throughout the whole entire process and the finishes like walking into their property you could tell it's a hundred percent quality so a few others i'll just name off you have cloverville estates brookfield estates fox meadows oak haven and the village at pine which is kind of designed throughout like that town square center where you have residential living but your steps away from again all of the amenities the homes at village of pine range from single level patio townhomes and single family homes there's fitness trails there's playgrounds there's restaurants i personally like absolutely love this community it's one of my favorite in all of wexford and there's two new construction communities being built currently and currently in the midst of being developed now that's going to be marshall crossing and this is another community by eddie holmes and you have mccandla square which is a community by dr horton who just entered pittsburgh's market so as you could tell wexford has plenty of options for any living you're looking for whether that's a townhome whether that's a grand estate away from everybody or whether that's being in the midst of all of your shopping and being able to walk right out of your door so tons of nice options for living and truly a wide array you have your top rated medical facilities you have great access to downtown pittsburgh and the airport and then of course you have the highly rated school districts which is probably the biggest driver to this area again great access to different highways as well along with the turnpike good access to fine dining and grocery stores it truly is a perfect suburb I absolutely love it and a lot of my clients are currently looking here or have purchased here in the past and everyone who's lived here absolutely loves it really an excellent place to live and one of pittsburgh's best suburbs in my opinion so if you want more information on this area or any area specifically what we do is we match you to the area that's going to best fit you based on your criteria we help you along the entire relocation process we get it it's we work with relocation clients every single day it could be a lot to pick up your life and move it to a brand new place, especially if you've never been there. So our goal really on this channel is to try to showcase it and make this move as easy as possible on you, help you get some ideas on where to live. And once you're ready to reach out and actually make the move, we're here to make the process as smooth and efficient as possible. So if you are considering a move to Pittsburgh, feel free to give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, DM us on social media, however you want to get a hold of us. We've got your back when making a move to Pittsburgh. And if you want to learn absolutely everything else about Pittsburgh, our neighborhoods, and our real estate market, you could start by watching our next videos here. And we'll see you in the next one.